Recently, I was approached to shoot a music video for an upcoming K-pop artist. I know, it was as surprising to me then as I'm sure it is to you now. And not to fish for compliments, but although I've been at this video thing for a while, I can't honestly say I made anything that would warrant that confidence in me. Still, with someone believing in me and a bit of mania to convince me I could do anything, I just said fuck it and agreed to a collab. As we didn't have any real plan besides kicking some tumbleweed around at an abandoned park, I spent the first day of shooting just trying to nail down something of a story, recording without a gimbal and in harsh lighting all the while. As you can imagine, I hated most of what came out of that first day of recording. I spent so much time trying to nail down coverage of the artist, I wound up neglecting the location almost entirely. Obviously, I had to go back a second day. I needed the pickup shots. Despite the lack of any real planning besides just showing up, I always felt a real connection to this place and wanted to give it something of a love letter through this music video. Yeah, I may have never been here when it was open, but I spent my 28th birthday here and was saddened to see the place a bit more destroyed with each return for the past two years. None of which prepared me for the day when I found two of these buildings burned to the ground. This wasn't just edgy, abandoned photography to me after all. I, as most people in love with places like this, saw it as something of an autopsy of the American dream. Call it what you will, but with a combination of capitalism valuing profits over people, and our general lack of urgency to put any effort towards saving this planet after the 2018 Global Climate Report, it isn't hard for me to see this as a peek into humanity's future. That's when I realized, I needed to start work on a zine idea I've only been flirting with for the past few months. If only to really cement this recent change in my photography where I stopped trying to fit into what's popular and instead pursue my truth, no matter where it leads. All this to say the idea for day two was as follows. Pick up some balloons from my local party city for the music video, make sure my Sony was completely charged for the day of filming, and bring a couple packs of Polaroid film for my SX-70. I would get my pickup shots for the video while at the same time grabbing content for the zine. Yeah, it was a new format to me at the time, but I'd been to this location so many times I didn't think it mattered. I already knew the shots I wanted to get. And before you start guessing about where this went wrong, I'm just gonna let the rest of the video play out as it normally would. Look, Cynthia, it's where we first recorded our intro. It was. It's fucking destroyed. It's so much right now. You know what is worse than this, though, is what they did to that spot right there. Yep. And that's why I don't share my locations. And run. All right, so hello, everyone. Cynthia and me again out here at an, an abandoned water park. I'm not gonna tell you where because as you can see, this place has been fucking destroyed. So looking for spray cans. Are you gonna try to draw something at some point? Yeah. I don't think anyone's gonna stop you. The police. The YouTube police? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Can you actually stand um, in the middle of that light? Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, I love the SX70, but it is 100 ISO film. And since it has no manual controls, I have to take into account the fact that this is a very dark environment. It's probably not going to like this next shot but I thought how cool would it be for this pool light to fall on Cynthia's face and have the background of this room be in the shot. I am gonna now try to take that photo and I should probably crouch down like this because this is probably more aesthetically pleasing than me doing this, <laughs> but too late. <laughs> <laughs> Close your eyes. Take a deep breath. And open it. Better not have. So for those of you who have been here from the beginning, you might notice that we are in a very familiar location and that's because we are back in the abandoned water park that I've talked about. And before anyone asks, I don't know if anyone's gonna ask, but I'm not gonna be giving out the location um, and I'm gonna go into that right now and talk about why I don't share uh, my abandoned um, shots, even though I believe in community. And I'm sorry to say, but since that first video, it's been a little more destroyed every time. So we thought 
What a uh, better video to do than like a one year coming back to this place uh, and kind of pay our respects to it before it eventually gets destroyed. And I say eventually because two buildings have been burned down since we last left, apart from it being a little more destroyed. And also um, we went to a few spots already before I recorded this intro and saw that there was some like burn marks and stuff like that. So. I'm pretty sure eventually this water park is gonna go up in flames uh, with the rest of California, judging by our chain of climate. But anyways, um, in this video, I'm gonna be shooting the SX-70 with some uh, color film and eventually some black and white. That's gonna be in anticipation for a photo, like a photo book I'm gonna be coming out. I hadn't come out with one because I didn't have a good theme for it, but now I know, hey, abandoned locations, Polaroids, why not? And if you're wondering about those balloons back there, I'm also here to do some pickup shots for a music video I'm filming for a friend called 21. Um, let's see which video actually gets uh, finished first. But for right now, yeah, SX-70 and maybe Nikon F3. We'll find out. We're two hours in. We're two hours in and Cynthia still hasn't found something to spread. It's been fun, guys. So that's honking back there. We hope our car is still alive. Otherwise, we are not getting back. Should we go check? I'll go check. We'll go check. I'll probably come back another day. Oh, what the fuck? I didn't see that. You, you're, the, you're the person coming back here destroying shit, aren't you? No, they already destroyed it. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Late number, cars here again, I have a job. Okay. Gotcha. Sorry. Doing at the park. Yeah. So you know, gotta be going and take pictures and everything. Mm -hmm. That's cool. If you wanna do that, I'll give you a phone number, call them, mm -hmm. they'll tell you can, when you can come with if, if they all come together. Can I, I take that phone number actually? Cause that's actually why I'm back, because I saw the burned down buildings oh. here. I left, accidentally left the balloons. They just flew out, I'm sorry. I added to the mess, styled it. Um, we picked up some spray cans though, so that's some trash, right? But yeah, um, this is again why I'm not sharing locations like that. As you can see from, uh, I'm guessing the person that actually takes care of this place, um, everyone's fucking destroying it here. All right, so we're gonna head home now. I guess we burned this place for now. Yeah, burned down. Get it? Not us. Not us. Not us. It's not us. They know me now. It happened eventually. Stop leaving your litter. Okay. Oh shit, this is an old one. Stop burning shit down. Cause then everyone else gets blamed for it and we get kicked out. So we got kicked out of that water park. We met the, the man in charge of here, Elmer. Pretty cool guy. Please don't steal for the chipping wall over there. Please don't. That's Please just don't. not. No, that's cool. not cool. I got a good, pretty good Polaroid of him. I hope. So yeah, we are just, uh, I guess, just doing a little more uh, checking out of the place before we head back. Uh, we've seen the water park so many times that we're going to take some chat to see. And here we are. on this uh, jacket since it's getting pretty uh, pretty nifty out here and actually I found out that the Levi's jacket is perfect has a perfect pocket size for uh, this SX-70 so I'm probably gonna be taking this out more. Levi's. Yep. Levi's please sponsor me. So I'm gonna wrap up the video right now since I wanna shoot more films than I wanna record. Um, the intention was to do a one year of the water park, but since that's a bus now, since we got kicked out, I'm just gonna enjoy uh, Elmer's farm here. Off Route 66, uh, donate, be a nice man, to, be a nice person to him. But yeah, uh, that's gonna be it for our video. Um, yeah. Before I end the second entry into Polaroid Week, I want to restate something I've already mentioned numerous times in the past, but bears repeating for anyone new to the channel. Don't ask me for these locations. Although I don't think any of you bear any ill will, you've seen what happens to places that gain popularity in this Instagram generation. 
And that's not even touching on what happened to our national parks during the government shutdown. And considering the evidence we've seen on the matter, I'm not going to bother arguing with anyone. These places need to be protected. For me, that means not tagging locations. So for anyone out there who puts in the work to find these places, I ask you to please do the same. As for this video, I hope you enjoyed the new style imposed on older footage. I haven't really had the chance to mention this yet, but after my trip to San Francisco and checking out Karen Mae Weems' Spectres of Disruption piece at the Day Young Museum, I got a serious wake up call about how I've been doing things. So instead of asking what everyone thinks about this new content and the longer intros before the shooting, I'm letting anyone still watching know, expect a real change soon. It's not going to be flashy and it may be incredibly awkward at first considering my formal lack of education on the matter, but it'll be honest. It'll be me. I've been looking at photography, YouTube, and my life completely ass backwards longer than I care to admit. So whether or not I'm able to keep up with these daily uploads for Polaroid week, just know as soon as I get through this backlog of older content, new things are going to be made and they'll be different. I hope you'll enjoy, but I'll understand if you don't. Until then, hello, my name is Manuel Guzman. Chase this light with me.